good morning good morning welcome to another summer's day in my life when i say that i say it in a very tongue-in-cheek manner because this is what we're working with today look at that cloud and this is a vast improvement on yesterday because yesterday it was like this but it poured with rain all day in addition so yeah I'm also filming an Outfits of the Week video this week, and I, the summer version. I tend to do them four times a year seasonally. And um, the summer version of Outfits of the Week is not going to be good in terms of um, having lots of lovely summer clothes in it, I don't think, because I'm wearing winter clothes, honestly. Ridiculous. Anyway, yes, well, let's reverse. Let's reverse and go and sit down here um, for a minute. And let me find something to balance you on. There we are. You sit there a second. It's not perfect, but it will have to do. So I thought I'd do a day in the life. Um, I've got a couple of bits to show you. And then I'm out and about a little bit today, unusually for me. I need to go to Home Bargains. I don't think I've been in Home Bargains this year. I don't think I've been in there this year. Or if I have, have I been? I feel like it's ages and ages since I've been to Home Bargains. Anyway, I need some cleaning bits and pieces. I need stuff like freezer bags and, oh, just knocked that off there. Um, freezer bags and um, bits and pieces, but, you know, ju just householdy bits and pieces. So I'm gonna go over to the big Home Bargains and do that. Possibly have a look, that's right next door to a great big charity shop, a newish one. So I might have a little, wander in there and have a look and then i think i'm going to take myself out for a nice coffee a mid-morning coffee i'm going to take my book and have a lovely coffee out which i very rarely do and ought to do more then i'm going to go for a trip to the library and get myself a big bag of books i've i've used the library a lot but i tend to order books that I want that are on my wish list and then just go and pick them up so I don't actually go and browse in the library. So today I'm gonna to go and have a good old library browse. I've got two books that you're currently sitting on which I need to take back. And I'm gonna take the opportunity to have a really good look around the library. And then after that, I'm meeting a friend for lunch, which I'm looking forward to. That will be nice. And um, then home at this afternoon and a bit of a lazy afternoon, I think. Um, I, I'm trying to have one day off during the week, on a week that we're at home and then not away at the weekend. I'm trying to sort of make myself have one day off. And I, because I do tend to, if we're at home all weekend, I tend to, or if we're not away at the weekend, I do tend to um, work at the weekend. Not all day, but I, there's not a day that I don't work. So I'm trying, I mean, I've, I've already done parcels and stuff this morning and answered emails, but um, yeah, there's not a day that I don't work. So I'm trying to, make myself have a day off in the week. So that's quite good. It's going well so far, it's only the second week. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I slept really badly last night. Ashley and I decided just last minute, because I think cause it had been such a rotten day and I'd been in all day and he was feeling fed up as well. He got in from work. The builder came round to see us actually. I'm segueing away from what I was gonna say. Builder came round to look at my ensuite bathroom and he's going to be doing that before Christmas. So yay for that, I'm super excited about that. It hasn't been touched since we moved into the house and we've had all the stuff for it, for you know, the fittings and fixtures and all of that malarkey since, well, before lockdown, I think, or during lockdown, we got it and um, the company that were due to do it let us down really badly um, after we'd been the, on their waiting list. We paid them a deposit and it was gonna be like six or seven months until they did it and it got to about, oh, they'd had the deposit for about five months and then they decided they weren't gonna do it. Um, so yeah, they let us down really badly and then it's just it just hasn't got done. So it's exciting that that's gonna be done hopefully before Christmas. Um, I don't feel too bad about that as a building project because we're going to literally board it off um, and they can get in from the back so they won't be coming through the house. Um, they can access it directly from the back and go. So that's really good, happy about that. Um, 
so there won't be loads of massive disruption like there was with the last building project anyway so they came round and then we decided that we would go out and have a couple of drinks um so we went down to the pub just in town um, had two glasses of wine and we were going to go out for a quick Chinese but the restaurant was closed, they, they were on holiday. So um, we came home, we ordered a Chinese and I had a third glass of wine at home and that is enough to completely disrupt my sleep. So I woke up at about half past, I went to sleep, I read my book for a bit, went to sleep as normal and then woke up at about half past two and um, I mean alcohol's a well known sleep disruptor anyway isn't it? but um, I didn't go back to sleep properly till about half past five, six o'clock, I don't think, and then I woke up at seven. And um, yeah, just not good. So I think I'm gonna be feeling a little bit jaded this afternoon. Anyway, I need to go and tidy up the kitchen. We're having meatballs in a tomato sauce for dinner. So I might cook those now before I go out, then I haven't got to do it later, because I can guarantee that the last thing I'm gonna fancy doing when I get in after my day out, most of the day out, is gonna be cooking a meal. So I'm gonna get those done now, I think. And then I've got um, a parcel there to open, which has arrived, which I'll open with you and show you. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and tidy up the kitchen. I won't film that, because that's I fine. have just opened my parcel. This parcel is from Costco. Um, Costway sent me the pizza oven, asked me to choose something off their website and I chose the pizza oven which I showed you and which we've used loads. They also sent me the ice machine which we haven't used as much but is super useful for making very quick ice um, and they asked me if I'd like to choose something off their website again to show you and I have been wanting to get a couple of large fake plants to put in the corners of the balcony for well, ever since the balcony got built and I just haven't got round to it. So, had a look at their website. They've got a great selection of large fake plants. And here they are. Two of them, which is quite exciting. So, yeah, I feel, I've just opened the box, I feel like I'm going to have to sort of build them myself type of thing. Um, so that's going to be entertaining. And... Um, they also sent me the other item I picked. We need to go to the office for me to show you this. Is this room divider, which I use. I, I've had a room divider here for ages, but it was really old, really faded. It was marked and um, I've been meaning to replace it for ages and I just haven't got around to it. So I thought, perfect opportunity. I love this wooden, it's got a sort of little bit of a texture in it and it's slightly bigger than my old one. So as well as being a photo background, when I sit at my desk, it covers up, excuse the, excuse the mess, I don't know if I've shown you the mess on the desk or not in shot, but um, if I have, apologies. Um, but it covers up the rail with all the clothes on and all that kind of thing, which is um, great. So it doesn't look so cluttered when I'm sitting at my desk, which is where I'm sitting most of the time. So Costway have got loads of really good housey stuff at really reasonable prices and they've given me a discount code. Um, do go and have a look at their website. I'll put all the info in the description box and at the top of the comment box. But now I need to build these plants feel like I need Carla here for this sort of activity. It was easy to put them together, even for me. Super pleased with them. Now, if the plan is to put them into big sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Not porcelain, big stone, not stone. I don't know, so, some sort of bright color, probably blue, big pots. So they'll be elevated a little bit. I don't want them much taller than that because they're sort of level with the top of the balcony at the moment and weigh the pots down with stones inside so the plants don't blow away when it's windy but um, yeah that's sort of my plan big statement pots in a bright colour and um, yeah I'm, I'm really happy with them I just wanted a little bit of greenery up here I think I could even do a bit more greenery at some point next year we'll probably have the sofa up here as well, the outside sofa. Um, haven't got it up here this year because it's covered 
in two tons of clothes that I've got to sell that I haven't sorted yet that are from my big vintage haul a little while ago. I'm really a bit happy with those. I'm going to put them inside until I get the pots to um, put them in because I don't want them to get damaged. But yeah, no, just a little bit of greenery is perfect. Just what I wanted. Okay, meat balls are made. Future Caroline will thank me for that. And it's about half past ten and it's time to go out. I'm looking forward to today. And the sun's even trying to make an appearance. I don't think it's going to make an actual appearance, but it's brighter than it was yesterday, so we'll take that. Oh my goodness, I just had a little bit of a panic. I got to the till in Home Bargains to pay for all my stuff and um, went to get my debit card out and it wasn't in my purse. And I thought, have I got it out of my purse to pay for something on the internet? Um, because... I might have left it on my desk and I thought, no, I haven't bought anything on the internet in the last couple of days. And I racked my brains to think of where I last used it, figured out it was Sainsbury's and I remembered, I went through the self-checkout because there's no bloody man checkouts anymore, are there? And um, they, I, I put the card onto the machine and then I was packing my stuff. I was waiting for it to, you know, because the touching thing, it, it approves it. I hate the touching thing. I want to put it in and put my number in. Um, so many things I dislike about checkouts and paying for things. <laughs> and I must have just not picked it back up off the um, card reader. But I remembered that, so I was quite pleased I did. Anyway, I've just phoned Sainsbury's and they've got it. And it's a good thing I figured it out today because they said, if you, ha if you don't pick it up today, we're going to destroy it. I assume they can only keep it for so long, um, which seems a bit much really, doesn't it? But whatever. Um, anyway, they've got it and I've got to go in there on the way. Well, not in there, but I've got to go to the parcel lockers by Sainsbury's on the way back so I can pick it up then. So that's good that that's sorted out. Anyway, I'm now going to, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. I'm going to the big charity shop directly behind me to see what they've got. It's that charity shop there. I should probably add to the end of that story I just told you that didn't have to leave my shopping at the checkout in Home Bargains. I did have another method of payment, so that was good. Right, charity shop is done. I got two dresses to sell and um, a couple of books for myself, which I'll show you later. Had a nice mooch though, that was good. I've just come into Sainsbury's, I've picked up my three parcels from the parcel locker and I've retrieved my debit card. So that's good. It's just good that I remembered where I'd last used it. I haven't been out very much this week, so I managed to figure it out because on a normal week, I'd just be, have no idea where I last used it. But um, anyway, right. I'm in need of a cup of coffee. That's where I'm going next. A cappuccino, my book. Such a lovely little place. I love it here. Can't wait to dig into this. I'm being very lazy and getting a lift to the other end of town. What's that? Is that your phone? No, it's the manhole cover. No, it just made a dingy noise. Oh yeah, on that. Oh right. I'm not used to that, I haven't got that. This is Darren from Ashley's office. Hi. Um, he's taken me to the other end of town out of the goodness of his heart. Absolutely. It's very kind of you. He did say we put it on his mileage sheet though. <laughs> We've spoiled the favour a bit. No, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how I love the library. Nothing makes me happier than looking at books. I've got library books, I've popped into another charity shop and I'm now off to lunch with my friend. I'm not going to film lunch, but um, I'll catch up with you afterwards. I'm back, it's just before three o'clock. Been back for about half an hour. And um, it's really nice to catch up with my friend. I had a nice lunch, I had jacket potato with cheese and coleslaw and salad. And um, yeah, really nice time. Right, I've got a little home bargains haul for you here. Let me just grab some glasses. Not gonna lie, I'm slightly hanging. I'm so tired after last night's bad night of sleep. So I think I'm going to have that little nap that I mentioned. <laughs> um, yeah, nice little nap I think is in order. Right, let's get everything out of this bag. So, very practical home bargains all here. Got 
Two packets of 39p ibuprofen because I like to stock up when I go in there because they're a really good price. I got some of this. I got some of this in Audi a little while ago and this was 99p. It's the Drumsticks Bubblegum Flavour Squash which was very nice from memory. Yes, smells nice. Um, so 99p, I thought that was a good price for that. Um, two lots of large Ziploc freezer bags. Seem to get through a lot of these. I do reuse freezer bags when they, um, I tend not to if they've had raw food in them, but um, I do reuse them when they've been, um, you know, with cooked food or with stuff that's easy to wash off, but you can only reuse them so many times, can't you? So um, I do find freezer bags useful, I have to say. On the plus side, we use way, way, way less cling film. Saran wrap, as you call it in America. Saran wrap, saran wrap. Um, yeah, way less cling film. We used to get through a lot of cling film, but um, don't use half so much as we used to. In fact, I couldn't remember the last time I bought new cling film, so that's good. Um, let me put that one away. And I've got a can of mushy peas. I love mushy peas. Ashley hates mushy peas, so I've just got that to put in the cupboard. Um, another cupboard staple, dark soy sauce. We get through quite a lot of this. And we have stir fries and in cooking. Um, this was a good price, it's £1.49 for a big sized one. Look, it's taller than my head. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. I got a packet of makeup wet wipes, not to use on my face, to take makeup off when I put it on the back of my hand to swatch things, or um, if I put foundation and mix it on the back of my hand. Useful to have makeup wipes for that. I haven't bought makeup wipes in the longest time. Again, I wean myself off them because they're not good for the environment. And, um, but it's just, it is quite useful to have some occasionally. Big thing of tissues, little two, four, six, eight, ten packets. I use to keep the little packet of tissues in my handbag. That was 99p, I think. Um, some oven and grill cleaner. I think this was 99p. I spent 22 quid altogether, and it didn't feel like a lot for the amount of stuff I got. Um, I think this is the same as, I used to get the Mr. Muscle one, and I think it's the same as that. I need to clean the inside of my oven door, which is disgusting, and it's not coming off with normal cleaning products, so I got some of the big boy oven cleaning spray. Hopefully that will help. I got this. This is called Invisible Windows Crystal Clear Foaming Glass Cleaner. I've never used that before. I tend to use a, like a spray type like that. Um, and it hasn't been bringing my windows up particularly nicely when I've done them recently. So I thought I would give this one a go. Um, dishwasher cleaner, that was 89p, I think. Pink, pink grapefruit and pomegranate. Lovely. Um, tube of toothpaste, 99p. Um, and I got two of these plug-in air fresheners. Are they air fresheners? Um, yeah, I suppose you would call them air fresheners. Couldn't choose which one I wanted. This is the three volution one that comes with three different scents. And this one has, just has the one. Um, I want to make my own room scents with oils and um, I was looking at buying all the bits and pieces for plug-in air, uh, air fresheners and I thought it's actually going to be cheaper to buy one of these sort of ready-made and then refill the little bottles if that's possible to do. I don't know if it is or not but um, that's the reason I've got two different ones to see if either of them are refillable. I'll, I'll use them obviously with the, the scents that are there. Um, but I was talking in the comments to a couple of people when I was talking about reed diffusers and so on last week. And a couple of people said they only use the plug-in ones now and use white company scents in them. And um, so yes, that's what I'm intending to do with those. Um, caramel chocolate. I've been wanting to try this for ages. I saw an advert on a bus stop for for this is it like caramac i assume so which is my favorite um can't remember how much that was but it it's very thin it looks like a giant bar of chocolate but it's actually only that size um 
and then uh, this is a porn star martini by another name isn't it let's be honest um, that is for a Christmas hamper that I will be making at some point um, before Christmas obviously so I'm picking up bits and pieces as and when I see them for that that is my home bargains haul I am going to go and have a little lie down stroke nap stroke rest and um, just for an hour and then get up and I'll show you what I've got in the library and um, a couple of books I've got in the charity shop as well when I get up again. Watched an episode of Succession. So good. Has anybody else watched Succession? It's very, very exciting. I mean, about halfway through season three and God, they're all so unlikable the characters in that, but compulsive viewing. Uh, Ashley's come home from work early, it's half past four and he's just come home so that's nice and I am going to try out my new oven cleaner on this inside of my oven door which is quite minging so I'm going to do that's the before, I'm going to give it a go and come back and do an after and I've just been reading the comments on last week's video and um, several of you said that you were waiting to see the pizza after I made the pizza dough I actually meant to photograph the pizzas when they were ready and completely forgot <laughs> and I was going to put a little photo in at the end of the video so apologies for that yes it did seem a bit odd that I showed you the whole making of the pizza dough and then didn't show you the pizza so my bad um I wanted to show you this which Further adventures in Home Scent. As you know, I'm into Home Scent at the moment and um, making my house smell nice. <laughs> Bought this ages ago on Amazon and I've only just started using it. It's a scent diffuser. But what I like about it is you can't see it so well in this light, but the vapour coming out of the top with the light looks like a little flame if you have it in low light when it's dark in the winter this is going to be fabulous i absolutely love it and in there let me turn i can probably show you actually i'll take the lid off it's got water inside with scent in there and it's electric the only thing that would make it better is if it was rechargeable but it has to be plugged in but that's okay and i've got in there water and a mixture of just let me pop you down a mixture of um, water and some of this which is I wanted to talk to you about this because I actually forgot that I owned this <laughs> I've got two of them actually I forgot that I had these these are perfume oils from not sponsored in any way I bought these literally years ago before lockdown um, isn't it funny how we set time as a like, like we, we use lockdown covid as a form of sort of time counting time type of thing that was very not eloquent that last explanation but i think you get what i mean um these are perfume oils and they're dupe perfume oils for well-known perfumes there's loads of companies that do this but the difference with this is they're actual oils so they're very strongly scented which as you know i like a strong scent i like a scent that lasts and these are brilliant they're from a brand called perfume parlor i will put a link in the description box and um my glasses are steaming up aren't they yes Yeah, they're from a brand called Perfume Parlour and they went offline. I bought these, I was really impressed with them. I went but to go and get some more because they're really good value as well. I've got a feeling this size was about £9. I've just checked on the website and they're up and running again because they closed down during COVID. The website was just completely gone. But they are back again and I'm so pleased because this particular one is number 1427 and this is a dupe for the... Jo Malone, Jo loves um, mango Thai lime, which I have the real one of. And so I've just done a little comparison. This is the um, dupe on the back of my hand. I've given them five or 10 minutes to settle down. And that's the original. And whilst they are not identical, they are very similar and similar in strength. In fact, they're, they're almost almost identical I would say this one's slightly sweeter slightly more of the mango in the 
dupe one but it's pretty good i can't remember what this one is a dupe of it's i've got a feeling it's a tom ford dupe but there's hundreds of dupe they've got hundreds of fragrances on there as i say these are about nine pounds i forgot i had these because i didn't have them in with my perfumes i had them in a little box in here with my fragrance oils which i haven't had out for ages and when i was looking for a fragrance oil when i set this little diffuser up last week I discovered that I had these and I've been putting a few drops of this one into which one yeah this one which is the Seville Genoa 0628 into it to fragrance it and it's just brilliant it's on for literally five minutes and I come into the bedroom and it's the whole bedroom smells of this lovely fragrance honestly it's so so good so much better than this horribly expensive disappointing thing which i've banged on about i think this is the third vlog in a row that we've discussed this thing isn't it but um yeah i just wanted to flag those up because i, I thought the company had gone out of business in covid and i've now discovered having looked them up again that they are alive and kicking i'll put the details of these ones in the description box the numbers and what have you yeah it's really similar um yes i will put the info down there as i say absolutely not sponsored or anything like that just a really good company that sell really good value perfume oil dupes that last because because they are oil it does sort of dry down you can see there i've got it on the back of my hand and it sort of dries down to a tackiness it doesn't stay oily so it dries down to a sort of tacky it's got a slight shine on there anyway Let's quickly look at this pile of books that I got from the library. Um, library and one from a two from a charity shop. Then we're going to go and finish off the oven door. Right, first book I picked up in the library was Rowan Coleman, The Summer of Impossible Things. And I've read Rowan Coleman before. Um, didn't love one of them and really enjoyed the other. So I'm hoping that this will be good because it said summer. Although it's autumn colours that, isn't it really? But... Um, yeah, and the tree's got no leaves on, which it doesn't look like a summer picture, does it? It looks more like either winter or autumn, I would say. But whatever, it's also got falling leaves on the back there. Anyway, um, if you could change the past, would you? How far would you go to save the person you love? Luna is about to do everything she can to save her mother's life, even if it means sacrificing her own. A beautiful novel about family, courage, sacrifice and love. So that sounds good. I also got this, The Curfew by T.M. Logan, which I've read some of, I think it's a man, I've read a couple of his books before. My very first book club book when I started my Mrs. M's YouTube book club was, um, I think, The Holiday by this person, which was subsequently serialised on Channel 4. Not very well, in my opinion. But yeah, a bit of a thriller. I like his books. So it says, it's late, your child's not home. Master of the Up All Night Thriller, it says, so that would be a good one to get stuck into. And then my final library book, I had to walk back from the library right to the other end of town, so I didn't want to weigh myself down with too many books, is this by Sally Hughes, the beauty guru or beauty journalist. It says, everything is washable and other life lessons. Um, and it, there's a little thing by Marion Keys on the top there that says, so much common sense and wisdom, everyone should have a copy. Just a really nice looking book as well. So... Um, I'm looking forward to flicking through that. It's got loads of interesting stuff in it. And then the charity shop, the first charity shop I went in, it was two for a pound. I got Ali McNamara's Step Back in Time. I just thought it was such a pretty cover. I fancied a bit of chick lit. I quite enjoy her books. It says, how many lifetimes would you travel to find a love that lasts forever? So I shall enjoy that. And then I got this mindfulness word search years since i did a word search i used to quite enjoy doing word search they're a bit mindless rather than mindful i would have thought but um i just found i just fancied doing some word searches so i thought it was a pretty looking book and um, for 50p you can't go wrong can you right let's go and see how that oven door is getting on well that looks a lot better doesn't it what an improvement <laughs> There are still a couple of nasty bits. This big long one is inside. Um, Ashley's going to take the glass off, flip it over for me so I can clean the inside bit. But yeah, that's Dr. Magic for 99p. Pretty good. Impressed with that. Right, I think we'll call that a vlog. We've been out, we've done oven cleaning, we've been to the library, 
We've been shopping, we've rescued my lost debit card that I didn't even realise first thing this morning was lost. It's been a full day. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I will link everything that I talked about um, and do go and have a look at Costway. Um, if you are looking for anything for your home or garden, they've got lots of really well priced stuff. Um, that's it, I think, from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.